So here I was, scrolling through Dream's subreddit when I suddenly see this post. Whilst Dream was in a Hypixel lobby, he announced that the Five Hunters finale rematch is being released on the 30th of November. Now that we know the date of the next manhunt, let's move on to the meaty side of things. For the remainder of this video, I will be discussing predictions and possible tricks Dream has in store for us. Firstly, we must discuss the stakes of this manhunt. The current score for the Five Hunters series is two wins and one loss. And as we all know, Dream must win three manhunts in order to move on to six hunters. Meaning, if Dream actually wins the Five Hunters finale rematch, then we will not see the Five Hunters grand finale. Instead, Dream will move on to the Six Hunters series going into 2022. But the catch is, the hunters will be doing everything in their power to beat Dream, as they clearly want one more chance in the grand finale. For a bit of fun, I'm going to predict the outcome of the Five Hunters finale rematch. I think we will see a similar situation that occurred in the Four Hunters finale rematch. Remember directly after Dream's sand trap when Ant Frost used harming potions to kill him? Well, I believe this will happen again, except the hunters will use a different strategy. In fact, I think the hunters will form a trap similar to Bad Boy Halo's lava kill in the original Free Hunters. Whether Dream will die in the overworld or the end, I'm not sure. But what I am almost certain about is that Dream will lose the Five Hunters finale rematch. Oh, and if I had to predict which hunter will get the final kill, I'm gonna say Awesome Dude, as he has never killed Dream and this is the perfect opportunity for that. Now, for some big brain plays that Dream could perform. Just a reminder that in the previous Manhunt, Dream changed the version to the Caves and Cliffs update. Well, sort of, as he used some kind of diet pack to manipulate the caves and access the new items. But the key word here is new items, as Dream actually showed off one of them last time with the Moss Trap. In the new update, something interesting was added that Dream could use as an MLG. This is the Powder Snow Bucket. You know how in the Nether, you literally cannot water MLG? Well, instead of using hay bales or boats, Dream could simply use a powder snow bucket. It is essentially the same as the water MLG, but if I had to be honest, when I was testing it myself, it definitely is not as consistent as the water MLG. Another new item Dream could use is Dripstone. You see, if Dripstone begins falling from a large enough height, it can actually kill players. There are a lot of Dripstone trap videos on YouTube, so Dream definitely knows this trap exists. Whether he will use it or not, I guess we'll have to wait and see. In Dream Dream's latest Death Shuffle video, there was one play that really caught my eye. This was when Dream made a hole in bedrock leading to the end void. You see, I have a funny feeling that Dream is going to use this as a trap in Manhunt. Imagine if Dream lures all five hunters into a hole which leads directly into the end void. Although this definitely seems more like a game winning play, meaning we will probably see this occur in the five hunters grand finale. Speaking of the Kays and Cliss update, Dream is actually uploading the Manhunt the day part two is being released. This could potentially be Dream hinting at the next manhunt being played on the official Caves and Cliffs update, meaning we will be seeing gigantic mountains pretty much at all times. In the original thread where this photo was published, there is one comment that caught my attention. It essentially states that Dream's previous manhunt didn't hit 2 million likes. For those who don't know, Dream tells his viewers if this video gets a certain amount of likes, they will do a rematch. But the thing is, the Five Hunters finale fell 300,000 likes short of the goal. But this hasn't stopped Dream from uploading his next manhunt, which I just found interesting. Something else I want to see is how Dream edits this manhunt. For hardcore manhunt fans, most of you would have noticed a shift in the editing in his previous manhunt. This was mainly through the use of his music and cuts, which made the video very short. I can't wait to see if Dream continues this editing style going forward, or if he will go back to his OG songs and longer manhunts. Anyways, I'll hopefully see you all again when I react to this manhunt. Peace.